something that I really admire about your generation is that you really seek truth in all aspects of life. Um, doesn't matter what it is, you just want truth in it. What about Gen Z encourages me? Um, well, they're like some of the most like all in and fearless people I've gotten to know and they're absolutely hilarious. So I love working with them. Uh, they look out for each other. They want to um, look for ways to help out um, and that's really respectful. Um, along with that, they tend to, to be respectful themselves and that's really encouraging as well. Guys, you're gonna fix the world. I am sure of it. I thought my generation was gonna fix the world, but now we are counting on you. So get to it, off you go. I've seen God at work in my students in that they've been really wonderful friends to each other through difficult times and also making some really joyful moments. Like um, this year at snow camp, my students threw a surprise birthday party for one of the girls and really made her year. Um, so they've been really joyful and wonderful to be around. Um, and something that I see God in work in all of you students is that you guys have built a community over this past year and you really encourage and accept each other for who you are. Um, for lots of reasons, but not the least of which being the joy that the students bring. Um, just into my life, into my Wednesdays, and to, I think, each other's lives. The way that they come and are just so excited to be alive and to be doing things and to be experiencing um, fun with each other and with us and to be learning, um, whether that is about us or themselves or Jesus, um, how to play a new game. Um, they're just so excited and excitable, and I love that. I forgot what I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it on my hand. I love to be a part of your lives and spending time with students. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I love being a part of their lives and spending time with them. One of my favorite things about being specifically at Fitchburg site is that not only do I get to hang out with my middle school kiddos, but I get to go down to HSM and see students that are just continuing in their walk um, of faith. I could not think of a better way to spend Wednesday nights than with my middle schoolers. Um, they remind me that we are all searching for connection. We want to be seen and to be heard and to know that we're loved and that we're enough um, as we are. We don't have to become what others want us to be. Um, they open up the door for all of these amazing conversations about why we're here, why God loves us, why we have worth without meeting some standard of success that other people are placing into our lives. Um, all right, one thing that really I love when I come to small group and, and to middle school community group on Wednesday nights is the questions that people ask. Um, even when we don't have time to get to all of them, there are some really thoughtful questions that you guys are asking and I really, I love it because if you don't ask the questions, how are you going to know the answers? Uh, my prayer for middle schoolers is that they would continue to search for God, continue to seek his heart, continue to find ways to connect, continue to stay in community, um, find those who are also believers, and be looking to encourage them and encourage those around you as well. And then also that you continue to show God's love to those around you. Um, you're already so good at it, and I just ask that um, you continue to, to look for those ways in your life. Another big prayer that I have is just that the zest for life continues, that you just keep up that energy, continue to ask questions, and that you continue to look to God for those answers. 
My prayer for you students is that you will remain curious, that you will strive for a deeper understanding of the world around you and your place in it. I also pray that you will seek to know God and what his plans are for your life, that you will always do your best to encourage each other, remembering that life is a challenge that's not meant to be tackled alone. And finally, it is my prayer that you will do all of this not because a leader is telling you to or merely because you think it's what's expected of you, but because it is truly what you desire for yourselves. I really am praying and hoping and asking God that um, each one of you, as you go on from middle school to high school and beyond, that you would really meet God and you would come to know his voice and what it looks like to follow him through the ups and downs of life and um, through the murkiness and chaos of this world, and that you know who God is and you can rest in his presence with him. My prayer for these students is that they encounter Jesus in a way that is undeniably real to them, that they then talk about that excitement with people in their community and not only the good things, but that they can also share their struggles with each other, um, that they can lift one another up and just slowly be transformed by Jesus, just like I have been. Um, there's nothing else that matters more.